Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about C it whether you should buy this stock at these levels or you should avoid it. So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Now, before I talk about C8, here's a small request to kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that, it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up from time to time on short term and long term uh, stock calls. Uh, plus, if you pay for 10 months up front, you will get a one year subscription. So you, if you pay for whole 10 months, that's about $100 straight away. Uh, you will get subscription for the whole year for everything. Uh, also, if you cannot pay through credit card, uh, kindly email me and we can work things out in a couple of months time. Uh, for detailed market or company talk also, you can directly email me and we can work things out. Now about the company established in 1958 in Turin in Italy, see it has done exceedingly well over the years for the shareholders as well as for customers. Official name is KV Electricity uh, Affini Torino, uh, one of the biggest tire manufacturers globally, manufacturers for passenger as well as commercial vehicles and two-wheelers. Market cap of the company is around 6,000 to 7,000 crores and has exports operations to multiple locations globally. If you look at the numbers, then the, the sales went up by 25% in the December quarter. So we are awaiting the Q4 numbers, but Q3 year on year, there was a jump by 25% and a profit shot up by around 160% on the back of lower cost and a lower say employee cost, other expenses, everything went down in the pandemic. So that helped, debt has reduced, that has also helped the numbers greatly. And return on equity of uh, in, in closer to 13%, operating profit margin of 10%, not that great, but not bad either considering the industry. So in, uh, according to the industry, they are doing, uh, they are doing fine, not, not exceptionally well, but mm. fine. So how has been the stock performance? Stock is up 50 odd percent in the last six months. So last six months it has done really well, but uh, over the last three, four weeks it has been consolidating. So hasn't uh, gone beyond 1700, 1750, hasn't gone below 1500, 1450. So that is also a very big positive. Uh, high promoter and institutional holding with only 11% free float is also a huge positive uh, for the company. Uh, so large investors are invested in the uh, stock, although return ratios are not that great and there are many consumer centric companies or direct consumer companies who have very good ROEs etc which I like uh, personally rather than investing into companies with an ROE of less than 20-25%. Uh, dividend payout is pretty good and it has, be, it has remained very good over the last 8-10 years and so this is a very good dividend paying company. Uh, it will continue to perform in the long run, but there could be some hiccups. So currently, as we see, because of the pandemic, a lot of things are shutting down. Global trade is shutting down. Uh, there are issues emerging again. So there could be some, some problems ahead for the tire manufacturers if, if there is less movement of autos. So that has to be taken into consideration. So if you look at the analysis or analyze this industry as a whole, crude is a major, you can say, raw material for, uh, for the company and volatility of crude is a huge concern. Uh, currently it is around $64 per barrel, uh, you can say Brent crude, uh, from being around $16 to $20 about 5 years back. So it has risen a lot, commodity prices has gone up as, as well, so mm. auto prices would go up. Uh, so all these things are not quite positive for the tire industry. So that has to be understood. Uh, global economic growth should pick up, but again, we are seeing hindrances. We are seeing issues with the number of uh, cases increasing and the pandemic again spreading, especially here in India. So things could be up and down, could be extremely volatile in the next six months to a, 
a year but overall over a four five year time frame improved road infra uh, will boost uh, its sales improved vehicle traffic will boost its sales because vehicle sales will increase as people earn more uh, but stock may consolidate for the next six eight months i, I still believe that there are short term uh, you can say hindrances short term headwinds due to which the stock may not go past 1600 1650 that uh, easily it has commenced a, a large plant in chennai about a year back so so that has also started giving them revenue but overall revenue will only pick up once the pandemic subsides and and things will look better so when uncertainty goes away only then uh, you will see uh, numbers pick up uh, for companies in in the tire sector and and same goes with uh, c at if we look at the technicals uh, of the stock currently trading at around 18 to 20 times uh, it is in range bound between 17 on the lower end to 20 times on the upper end the short term support lies about 100 rupee lower at 1450 1440 uh, have been consolidating for a few weeks and may continue to consolidate uh, I believe in the next uh, two three months unless uh, things really get better on the ground uh, very good levels to buy would be between 1300 to 1400 if there is a 10 percent decline from current levels would be very good uh, levels to get into the stock between 5 to 10 percent decline the 200 DMA is around 1150 1160 and the major breakout is expected above 1760 which I find that the the, the stock will uh, find it very difficult uh, to get past uh, something like uh, 1760 1800 so in my opinion this is going to be range bound between 1450 1400 on the lower end and 1600 1650 on the upper end but if somebody who wants to buy the stock for the long haul for the next three to five years i think automobiles auto industry and and these auto ancillary companies will continue to do uh, much better so something like c8 uh, should be doing extremely good uh, going forward once uncertainty subsides once uh, there is a uh, better traction in, on on the you can say on the global front with with movement of uh, good services etc so things have to improve only then uh, the company will do well on the ground so what needs to be done in my opinion you can buy at current levels but have patience have patience for at least four years if, if you really want to buy this is not a stock that can be traded i think it is a range bound in that opinion i won't say that it can be taken for a short term upside or short term trade on a buy side this will be range bound between 1450 on the lower end to 1650 on the upper end so rather look at other industries if you if you want to do short term trading but from a long term perspective any stock that is or any brand that is that is pretty good and is consolidating that is the time to accumulate so this is the time to accumulate over the next six months uh, keep track of numbers how numbers are coming in how the results are coming in and <coughs> over the long run this will give you a decent return.